hello everyone so in the previous video our database connection uh, service we have written now we will just spin up uh, the docker compose up and we will see if we are able to do this so here is my docker compose and you can see that uh, now we are able to connect to a database database connection successful and with all these things <coughs> I am pushing my code uh, to this branch. I am in different branch in this particular repository. So if you want to take a look, I will also attach this particular link in the description. And I am uh, pushing these different branches step by step, uh, whatever we are keep, whatever we keep doing. So I will just show you Docker Compose down and up. So sorry. <coughs> So you can do docker compose down it will just uh, bring down our services and then we will do this again so mysql will be started and node.js will be started and based on what we have written in our index.ts it will just try to connect with the database because we have a get connection and we are using winston logger instance to log everywhere so we are just using logger instance dot log the log level info error warn different log levels we have and the message which you wanted to show on the screen okay and for everything we are using node mode i mean in the docker file if you see the command which we are executing npm run start in the package.json that is pointing to the node mode okay now our database connection has been established next thing we are going to do is understanding this type orm cli this is very important tool to run our migrations create migration revert undo migrations or database sync so we have created a database i mean database should exist in mysql workbench which we have created using docker compose file in the docker compose we have mentioned that database is a test so test database is already there now what we need to do is uh, we need to just create these tables using the database sync utility so for that what we can do is uh, we can write some package.json script so those package.json script will look like uh, type ORM CLI so in type ORM CLI we will try to access type ORM using ts node so I will just uh, copy it from my package.json so because this type ORM CLI will be required everywhere in our all the other scripts so if you just see npm run So what actually it is doing, oh, wait a second, npm type orm, it's a colon not dash. So it is reading this orm config.ts and it will ask you our options, ask us the options. So what all options we have in type orm, we just look at this. So type orm CLI schema sync, schema log, schema drop, entity create, migration, run migration, migration run, right? This is to run the migration. Uh, db schema sync this is the important task which we are going to do so what we will do is after accessing this type rm cli we will create uh, other commands here other commands like uh, migration create migration drop and all so here i will just use these so first of all let's do this db sync what db sync is doing it is running the type rm cli and running the schema sync so these are like parallel commands first it will run this then schema sync schema sync is nothing but here we have already written the schema sync and then npm run db migrate npm run db migrate is this particular command it will look do we have any migrations available in the folder uh, i think we should be creating one migration folder otherwise we will get an error so we will create a migration folder outside app middleware okay let's create a migration folder we don't have right now anything but in future we will be writing migration so if i do npm run db sync it will break obviously because i am running it locally i have to run it in the docker container because there only we are connected to the database uh, okay exit status code one like additional output log yeah you can see here it is not able to look up to the mysql so what we will do is First, we will go into Node.js container, attach shell. Okay, what will be asking? Okay, 
npm run db sync command we'll talk about it how this db sync will be performed it will read the orm config.ts all the details about it so we'll see in what we have in the orm config.ts it is nothing but the description of okay, where are the entities where are the migrations and all these things where we have kept okay so it is running the db sync first and then it will run the db migration so let me just try to pull the mysql workbench so you should be able to see the okay let me connect to the database it's a new connection and local connection root and test connection Oh, just give me a second. Stop it and before I start. Okay, so okay, a successful voice to go. Okay, it was successful. I was thinking I'm getting an error. Which name is test? Let's see what I'm doing. New connection. Okay, uh, I got the database and uh, here we can see the database here is my test database and I can see the migrations migration means once whenever the migrations uh, sequelize TV migration run then this table automatically gets created okay and uh, if we just see synchronize is false right so that is true so we have to make it true if we wanted to create uh, the database entities from these entities so we have created already entities if you wanted to create a tables through these entities then we have to make synchronize true now if i run it again db sync utility then we should be able to get the tables synchronize is true this time or i will just check uh, is this in applied in the docker containers or not 